Gravel Loco is a 250 km race with 2300 meters of elevation almost exclusively on Texas dirt. Pretty much all the best gravel racers in the country were there. The previous Dirty Kansas winner Colin Strickland, the World Tour gravel racer Peter Stetnia, the two times national ultra endurance series champion Dylan Johnson, the gravel legend and Tour de France participant Ted King, the legend of LA Strongman Sam Bornman, and the wild card, the 10 times Tour de France participant Lawrence Stendam. The race started in downtown Hiko at 8 a.m. The first 13k of the race were neutralized due to a pretty much unrideable water crossing. After the first feed zone, things started to eat up and after 4 or 5, 6 strong attack, we now had a league group of about 10 riders. We rode together in an organized fashion until we hit the second feed zone. Everybody stopped and got a full refill of food and water. Massive shout out to Dylan Johnson who handed me one of his bottles. Without him, I would have been out of water for at least 60 kilometers. How many miles to go? The third part of the ride is where things started to get very serious. We began attacking each other and after an hour of pure pain, we were now only seven riders up front. We were still careful nonetheless and being extra cautious on those crazy water crossings. As we approached the last feed zone, we could see that the rain was coming and that the last two hours of the race would be epic. We all stopped at the last feed zone and that's where I made one of the dumbest moves I did racing bike. I decided to go up the front by myself. I went super deep for 20k and the guys behind were not letting me go. They were well organized and were keeping me at viewing distance. They finally caught up to me on one of the only paved sections of the course. At that moment, racing truly began. It was now pouring rain and the gravel conditions switched from super fast and sandy to slow and muddy. We could not see anything. I'm not joking, we all had to ride side by side because it was impossible to see if you were on someone's wheel. At that point, we all started attacking. Peter, Colin and Lawrence were putting down some crazy power. I was barely hanging on. Sometimes I would get myself dropped and come back in the more rolling section. Quitting was just not an option. After a crazy 45 minutes of not seeing and attacking, Lawrence was now up the road by himself and I was with Peter and Colin in the first chasing group. I thought we were pacing it perfectly to bring Lawrence back, but Peter unfortunately had a flat. It was now Colin and me against Lawrence. At 10k to go, we went down a fast downhill and hit a water crossing at the bottom. We were careful on those slippery crossings during the race, but this time we hit it full speed. I almost crashed and lost Colin's wheel. We then proceed to do a 5 km time trial at about 30 meters from each other and I finally cracked. I barely finished the last 5 km. I was just not able to push on the pedals anymore. 
I was not bunk or cramping, my muscles were just super tired. I was yelling to myself, warrior, 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 only to try to continue advancing and get me to the finish line as fast as possible. I finally finished the race in 7 hours and 7 minutes behind Lawrence and Colin. The average speed was just under 35 kilometers for the whole 250 kilometers. It took me about 10 minutes to be able to stand up. I almost passed out on the concrete while enjoying the tremendous feeling that comes with hard work. What a fantastic event. Fabian, the race organizer, and all of his team truly put a flawless event. They got everything right. My four takeaways from my first gravel race are Eat and drink more than you think you need to. Stay calm and collected, it's a long day on the bike. Patience and confidence is key. Quitting is not an option. The pain of regret is way worse than the physical pain you're experiencing during the race. Gravel is so freaking fun and hard. Congratulations to everyone who crossed the gravel local finish line with empty leg. Peace!